Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and this week we're going to be talking about Carl Friedrich Gauss, Gottingen, and a little bit of math. And I want to give a shout out to Wrath of Math, who requested this video, but couldn't contribute due to scheduling conflicts. This note is part of the Bundesbank, or BBK3 series, and was released in 1991, circulating until the introduction of the Euro's paper currency in 2002. And they can be redeemed indefinitely for Euros, and they have a face value equivalent to about $5.60. They can be found on eBay for between $4 and $40. On the front of the note is Johann Karl Friedrich Gauss. He was born in Brunswick, or Braunschweig, Germany in 1777, then part of the Holy Roman Empire. He was considered a prodigy from an early age and was sent to university by the Duke of Brunswick when he was 15. By the time he was 21, he had already made major contributions to modular arithmetic and prime number theory. In 1801, he made major developments in the field of orbital mechanics when he helped to predict the celestial position of the dwarf planet Ceres, which had been discovered earlier that year but was lost after it moved behind the sun. This and later work led to his lifetime appointment as the head of the Göttingen University Observatory in the Kingdom of Hanover. The image of Gauss on the front of the note is based on the oil painting by Danish portrait painter Christian Albrecht Jensen and was part of a series of portraits depicting the leading scientists of the day. To the left of Gauss's portrait is a montage of famous buildings in Göttingen. Foremost is the assembly hall on the Wilhelmsplatz. It's part of the University of Göttingen where Gauss studied. Behind this is the Göttingen Municipal Museum. The building was originally built in 1592, but today houses a collection showcasing the history of Göttingen and the surrounding region. To the left of the museum is the Old Town Hall, constructed around 1270 and was used up until 1978. Above this is St. John's Church. Although it's first mentioned in documents from the 13th century, its two towers weren't completed for another 100 years. To the right of St. John's is the Göttingen Observatory, which Gauss was the first director of, Gauss lived here from 1815 to 1855. Finally, the tallest tower is part of St. James's Church. The 230-foot tall tower was completed in 1433 and for hundreds of years was the tallest structure in Göttingen. Superimposed above the Göttingen buildings is a representation of the bell curve, more properly known as a normal or Gaussian distribution. The normal distribution was likely first discovered by French mathematician Abraham de Moivre in his analysis of games of chance. The graph shows a distribution of probabilities. For example, if one were to roll four dice hundreds of times, four and 24 would be the least likely outcomes, represented by the ends of the graph. 14 would be the most common outcome, represented by the middle of the graph, with other values following along the slope of the curve on either side. The normal distribution is one of the bedrocks of modern statistics, used everywhere from medicine and biology to social and political science. The reverse of the note features a sextant, a tool used to measure the angle between two objects. It's often used in surveying and navigation. It's on the 10 mark bill because in 1818, Gauss was commissioned to conduct a survey of the Kingdom of Hanover, which he personally directed over the next 10 years. To aid in his survey, he invented a device called the heliotrope, which reflected sunlight over long distances. The heliotrope proved to be so valuable to the work of surveying that it was widely used until the advent of public GPS. The lower right of the bill features a section of his survey around the city of Hamburg. Surveys such as this were common in the 19th century and relied on triangulation to determine the distances between points. The data obtained from these surveys were used, among other things, to apportion property and construct accurate maps. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments.